Good morning beautiful souls. I have something to show you. Ni adalah road microphone aku dan road mic aku ni ada problem. Road microphone ni dihadiahkan oleh Zul Aziz, a fellow YouTuber of mine. Masa dia bagi, memang dah ada dah selo tape. Dia dah selo tape sikit sebab kulit wayar ni dah merekah, dah reput dan dah tercabut kan. Due to wear and tear lah. So masa dapat dekat aku, aku guna-guna-guna dia punya merekah tu punya area makin merebak. Dan baru-baru ni dia dah merekah sampai ke pangkal dia ni. Dah tak ada kulit dah. Wire ni tergantung dekat mic tu macam tu je. In fact boleh nampak ni kat sini. Aku rasa memang tunggu time je benda ni rosak ataupun wire ni tercabut. So, I decided to buy a new microphone. Aku dah ada dah microphone baru. Aku beli second hand. But what I really want to say here is Zul Aziz, thank you very much. Dan Rode Video Mic Pro sangat-sangat berkualiti. It's one of the best microphones out there for content creators. Benda tu sempat berkhidmat pada aku selama, what? 4 to 5 months. Now, I'm moving on to the new mic. But this thing masih boleh guna. I'm still gonna use it. Aku cuma nak minimizekan kadar penggunaan dia because aku tak nak dia rosak. Nah, okay, Bapak nak makan dah. Kejap lagi. So, aku akan simpan ni. Maybe aku akan guna waktu, you know, talking head videos at home like this. But outside, I'm going to use my new mic. Once again, thank you, Zul Aziz. Menu hari ini, nasi lemak. Cikamin, cikamin, mama, mama, how ni? Sedap nasi lemak ni. Sedap banget si. I'm not going to lie. My wife makes really, really good nasi lemak. Dan aku isi nasi dalam mangkuk dulu. So, nasi tu bentuk mangkuk. Feeling-feeling kedai. So weekend ni nampak gaya Memang relax rumah je lah tak, tak ada apa sangat And right now aku dengan Iris Nak pergi beli gas Mak metua aku dengan bini aku tengah masak Gas habis Kalau dekat rumah lama dulu aku ada telefon number dia So tak payah nak pergi kedai tu kan Just call dia deliver Tapi kat sini aku tak ada nombor So yeah I mean sini boleh ambil nombor dia next time baru kita order je lah senang kan Okay Jangan belum 26 ringgit nombor si Yeah Okay yeah Izan Zubir Vlogs Okay <laughs> Thank you boss Okay thank you Is it just me or have you noticed that netizens have become more and more toxic lately? No, I'm serious. Everywhere you look, everybody just hating in the comment section. Right now, aku dekat bilik Ryan sekarang ni. Bilik aku aircon rosak dan kipas pun rosak. So, aku dengan bini aku tak boleh tidur bilik kita orang. So, aku mainly tidur kat bilik bawah. Bini aku pula tidur bilik Iris dan Elisa. And then, mak metua aku datang. Diorang occupy bilik bawah. So, aku naik tidur di bilik Ryan. So, this is the situation right now. Tengah tunggu orang yang nak repair tu maybe in August baru dia datang buat. 
buat So this is the mess that's going on right now Ni tilam yang aku tidur So back to the topic at hand Netizens Makin hari, makin bulan, makin tahun Makin toxic Anywhere you go in the internet You can see in the comment section How hateful comments are being made They're not just being hateful They're actually angry At this point, they can't even tolerate A simple fun video I found this short video on Facebook The video is about AC Mizal dan family dia Just having fun was clear to me that they were actually having fun and to me totally cool nothing wrong with that but the minute i scroll down into the comment section everyone everyone i think like 95% of the people in there are just hating and bashing ac mizal and his family <laughs> So me being me, I'm not afraid to say what's on my mind. I actually wrote in the comment section how netizens are becoming more and more toxic each year. And sure enough, for a moment, they all shifted their attention towards me. I mean, deep down, I was actually deliberately trying to trigger them. Through all that hate, I just said what I said just to watch them flip out out of their minds. I don't know, I'm, I'm telling you, people nowadays are just too quick to judge, wasting all their energy and effort towards something that doesn't really affect them. Kita orang pun dah jadi takut nak buat konten dan setiap kali buat konten berhati-hati takut menyinggungkan mana-mana pihak. One time I tweeted something and a fellow creator of mine whom I've never met but is a really awesome guy dia pun tegur. I mean, aku faham, niat dia baik. But that is the sad reality right now. We have to be overly careful about whatever we post. We gotta suppress our own thoughts for this. Shaf, I know you mean well, but here's the thing. Number one, they can't cancel me. In order to get cancelled, you gotta be someone famous. So you can't get cancelled if there is no one to do the cancelling. Plus, I don't think my tweet reaches that many people anyway. And number two, if they were to cancel me, for what? For having an opinion? What I wrote wasn't really that critical or that offensive. It was simply something that I was thinking about at that time. I mean, I am not afraid to say what I want to say as long as whatever I say is within the boundaries of my own moral compass. But that's the thing. It's sad to know that in this day and era, creators just have to be extra, extra careful. Anyway, one more thing. I am in the midst of uh, selling my old house. Aku tengah cari buyer. Rumah aku tu berada di Bandar Seri Damansara. Tempat aku duduk dululah. It's a condominium. 12th floor. I'll put the details on screen right now. Zaman-zaman COVID ni semua memang susah nak jual rumah. So yeah, just uh, sampai-sampaikan je lah. Share-sharekan je lah dengan orang kan. Condition is good. Dah bersih semua. Dah betulkan segala-gala kerosakan. Dah cat balik semua. And the price is, I think, is more than reasonable. So yeah, if any of you nak beli ke, ada kenal orang yang sedang mencari rumah ke, tolong uh, sebar-sebarkan. So an update tentang keselamatan padang ini sebab Ryan jatuh sampai berjai kaki dia kan. The management did something about it. So the management finally decided to letak this big huge PVC pipes yang telah dipotong-potong. Sana pun semua ada. So it's not the best but it's something lah. Oh, Pelangkat ni besi tu ada kat situ. So like yelah selamat lah sikit. I mean logic lah takkan dia nak cabut pula spotlight ni kan So sana ada satu Semua lah dekat kawasan ni Tapi kawasan ni sahaja lah Tu padang ha, Sebelah sana daripada padang tu Dia tak cover langsung And still bahaya I'm not sure what decision they're gonna make in the future But for now this is much much better So yeah I guess they actually listen I mean it is a really serious issue And I'm glad they did something about it So overall Satisfied
satu hari aku nak naik atas tu Dia jenis satu flyover yang tak siap Tak kenapa dia tak sambung kerja buat benda tu Aku keluar sekejap pergi cari goreng pisang Dia punya pengasuh masa duduk dekat Sri Damansara dulu Ibu on the way ke rumah Dia nak datang melawat Ryan So aku cari goreng pisang dan kopok leko sekejap Not sure where Assalamualaikum 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 <laughs> Okay, masih cik. Assalamualaikum. Kita nak pergi potong rambut Ryan. Rambut dia dah terlampau panjang. Nak botak? Nak botak? Nak. Botak handsome Ryan. Itu bukan Ryan. Malam dah Handshame lah Ryan Tak work huh. What the hell is that? 